Hey guys, it's the Chad, and I'm here with my cousin Garrett, and this is our 1972 C10 Custom Deluxe. Now, Garrett and I, we've acquired seven, eight of these old C10s in the last year or so. Now, he says it's too many. I say, why didn't we buy 10? Now, out of these eight trucks, Garrett and I each picked the one that we want to build, so it's time to do a little spring cleaning. So we've gone through and sold three trucks already, and we decided it's just time to let this 72 go on down the road. So we posted it on the old face space. Well, after about 10,000 inquiries of, is it still available, or how does it run, I was about to pull my hair out. Is it still available? Yeah, it's posted, isn't it? And how does it run? Well, it doesn't. It doesn't have an engine or transmission. Now, we thought we made that pretty clear with our words and fine photography skills. Well, luckily, a guy named Martin hit me up a couple days ago and said, hey, would you be willing to go through and sell this as a rolling chassis? Well, I was a little bit hesitant at first because I'm not a big fan of going through and parting out a pretty decent old truck. But after listening to his plans, he kind of changed my mind. Well, that and when money talks, Garrett and I, we listen. So Martin owns a local HVAC and plumbing company, and he needs another work truck. Now, most of us picture that these guys drive big old panel vans, but not Martin. He's way cooler than that. This is his daily driver. He wants to expand his fleet and have a backup truck. Now, he already went through and bought another box truck, but the chassis is bad on that one. So that's where our 72 comes into play. Martin only needs this rolling chassis, so he's cool enough to let Garrett and I just take any of these old parts off the truck that we want. And that's a huge benefit because we can use them on our own truck or keep these used parts in circulation. Now buying used parts, that can save you a ton of money and they're great for that patina build. New parts, they're really expensive and they're getting harder to come by because a lot of stuff's been on back order lately. You ready to start stripping? Yeah. Oh God.
Now, if you guys don't have anything better to do on a Saturday night, try blowing apart a 72 C10. It's kind of fun. Now, it was totally worth it because Garrett and I were able to go through and save most all the usable parts off this truck. The next step is we're going to load it up on the trailer and deliver it to the body shop for Martin. One, because we're nice guys, and two, it just gets out of the shop that way too. Now, Martin's being pretty cool, and he says he's going to keep us posted with all the progress of this build and even bring it by once he gets it finished up. Now, if you're some kind of nerd like Garrett and I, we love Transformers. And once this thing gets finished up, it's going to be like a ginormous bumblebee truck. Should be pretty cool. Now, if you guys haven't, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe, and check out my other 67 to 72 videos. I appreciate your time, and thanks for watching.